My name is Andreas Bergteller and my research group pursues a seemingly trivial question. How do viruses cause disease? Everyone knows that viral infections are a great challenge to global health, yet in most cases it remains a mystery how the disease is triggered and develops further. This is exactly what we try to achieve. In the last years, it became more and more evident that interactions of viruses with their host are way more complex than anticipated. In fact, it is not just the immune system which reacts to the virus, but basically every physiological process. In particular, we know that elementary metabolic processes that supply the organism with energy and nutrients undergo rapid change. We speculate that these processes at the interface of metabolism and inflammation are key for a truly comprehensive understanding of virus-host interaction and how viruses cause clinical disease. The Burke-Taylor lab concentrates on different diseases, including viral hepatitis and virus-induced respiratory superinfections. There we face the challenge of highly complex diseases which affect specific organs such as the liver or the lung. Our aim is to recapitulate the key processes in the Petri dish, yet we also rely on well-defined infection models with laboratory mice, which enable us to study the unique structure, physiology and microenvironment of each organ. As a veterinary doctor by training, it is crucial to me that we treat our mice with the greatest possible care and rigorously adhere to the procedures set by the ethical committee and the law. Thereby, our infection models are expected to provide invaluable insights into new disease mechanisms. Our host institution, CEM, provides a vibrant and interdisciplinary environment. Cutting-edge technologies meet strong biological expertise in the area of inflammation and collaborations are much encouraged. It's an international place and it is great fun to perform science as a team and compete with other top institutes worldwide. The Burke Taylor Lab aims to achieve groundbreaking scientific insights, which may form the basis for new antiviral drugs. Looking at the recent fast-paced medical developments, it is obvious that the future of medicine will become more individual, more mechanistic, more precise, more fact-based, well, and of course, it's awesome to be part of this and see our research contribute to unraveling the mechanistic basis of viral diseases.